Hello again everybody, Jeremy here, and I have another Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn tip for new players. I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 version of the game, so if you are new to Final Fantasy XIV, I know that there are many aspects of this game that are not very easy to grasp just by going through it yourself. It's things that you have to look up, things that you have to just kind of research online to get a better idea of it, and I just try to make those things easier to understand there's still plenty of things that i don't understand but today i want to talk about company seals seals s-e-a-l-s -E company seals is just one of really many currencies in final fantasy 14 that you can use to buy different items different weapons different armors that you can't get anywhere else. Things that you can't buy with Gil. You have to buy it with Company Seals. You might have seen Company Seals in action already. If you've gotten to a certain point of the game where you have to join one of three Grand Companies. Let's take a look at what those Grand Companies are. I'm going to move over to my... I'm going to move over to my character menu here and you'll see that there are three different grand companies that you can choose from you could have chosen from the maelstrom which is located in limsa lamensa you could have joined up with the order of the twin adder which is in gradania which is where i am now or you could have joined the immortal flames which is in odal Uldal, or however they pronounce it now, and it kind of, to me, doesn't really matter which Grand Company you pick, uh, depending on your class. It, it seems to, there's really no big difference. I know some people will argue that, um, but you just pick whoever you think is coolest. I chose Gridania because it's in the woods and my character looks like he hangs around in trees a lot. So anyway, the Order of the Twin Adder. And here you see a a list of all the rankings that you can that you can have within the grand company. So you start down there at a, a serpent private third class, and then you just and you just work your way up to second class, first class, corporal, sergeant, and you can go all the way up to commission ar officer for a, a serpent champion. I'm not too sure if that's enabled right now, but right now this is as high as you can get. So the grand companies, they have things called seals, which is certain is a certain currency that you can only get through them. How do you get company seals or what are the company seals for? Well, you go over to the serpent personnel officer here and you talk to this guy. And you get to learn more about the ways that you can collect company seals. So basically, the way that you get it, you can, as many ways, you can take part in fates, which are whenever you're on the map and you see like a little purple circle icon, that's these active real time battles. Every time you complete one of those, you get some company seals. Every time you complete one of these uh, leave quests, you get company seals. And there are other many other ways to do it as well. And once you've done that, you can go over to the quartermaster and he has all of these different things for sale according to your rank. So if you look at the top here, those little symbols, it's like a orange background with some white slashes through it. Those are the rankings. And as you go up in rank, these are the items that you can buy from them with company seals. There's no gill here, just company seals. And then you can choose armor. There's armor for yourself and armor for your chocobo and then just general materials. And then as you go up in rank, you can just go over to uh, even more awesome gear and more awesome weapons. So you see now we're looking at level 42, 44 stuff. And then once we go over one more time, now we're getting into uh, item level 55 things, which is really just in game items that you can get from your grand company so here's the thing how do you promote yourself within a grand company how do you rank up you have to give them back their seals it's kind of like walmart you work there and then you give all your money back to them when you go shop so you go over here to the certain the serpent officer and then you apply for a promotion and a lot of times uh he'll say like okay well 
pay us and then you go up a rank so from here you can see that i am currently a chief, a chief serpent sergeant and in order for me to become a second serpent lieutenant i have to give them nine thousand seals i only have three thousand six hundred and twenty nine seals so i can't do that i need to get more seals how do i get more seals let me tell you a very good way for you to get seals even if you know you can go around and do fates you can do that but you only get so many seals you have to do that forever here's a nice fast way to do it the hunting log hunting log is something that you're told about in the beginning of the game but then if you you know aren't really paying too much attention you completely forget about it completely forget about it and the hunting log is a great way to get seals now normally you're not getting any seals from doing your hunting log you know you just get experience look at all of this i'm on level 50 and look at all these low level enemies that i have not added to the hunting log because i just straight up forgot about it and these experience points don't really mean much to me anymore now but if you go to your grand company hunting hunting log then look at these guys here let's take a look at rank one for killing three of these amalja javelineers you'll get 240 seals killing five of these heckler imps 266 seals we can go down 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 and you'll get 478 seals for killing one just one exali fear caller when you complete a fate normally you'll get somewhere somewhere between two to three hundred seals it doesn't matter if it took you a long time to complete that fate that's how much you're going to get but look how much you just get from the hunting log kill three amaja rangers 441 seals that stuff adds up and then here's rank two and look at look at look how all this adds up 609 for the kobold sidesmen you know 629 for the temple b this is a good way for you to earn seals and you can just keep on doing your uh your hunting missions as long as you have something to hunt unlike leave quests where you have a certain amount that you can only do and then once you run out you have to wait until they replenish so you don't have to do that with the hunting log now once you go through rank one and then rank two You'll see rank three and I can't get that yet because it's part of a mission. I have to run through a dungeon and then after I ran through that dungeon, which I think I did already, then I have to give them the 9000 uh, seals and then I'll rank up and then I can go back to the hunting log. So do not forget about the hunting log. That is a great way for you to earn seals. Here's another way that you can earn seals supply and provisioning missions which if you are a crafter you can find this to be very useful because you can craft some things that might be pretty simple to you depending on what your level is and then you turn all this in for seals for example if i turned in this brass head knife i will get 108 seals and 7372 experience i've got a brass head knife but i currently have it equipped to my uh to my leather worker so i'm not going to give him that but i could turn that in and then that's also a way to get seals uh another thing you could do expert delivery missions and you're gonna have to work up to this but then once you do you finally have something to do with all of this all of this pink gear that you either don't need anymore or you just can't use in general you can't sell these things on the market but you can give them to your grand company in exchange for seals. So look at some of the stuff that I just don't need. You know, here's a level 28 ethereal toad skin voyager's belt. It's a level 28 item. I don't need it. I can't sell it, but I can give it to the grand company. And then when I give it to the grand company, they'll give me in return 345 serpent seals. This is an incentive to make sure that you, you know, go to dungeons, you know, as often as you can. Just run those dungeons, get that loot, and then the loot that you don't need, this pink loot that you don't need, turn it in. Here's this turban that I don't need. Here it is. Hand it over. 
403 seals. Done. Let's go up to one of these higher level ones. Here's a material pearl, black pearl earrings. I don't need those either. Let's turn them in. 564 seals. So all in all, you know, I have myself, you know, a few thousand seals worth of items that I can just easily turn in. So that's kind of cool. So if you're like me and you kind of wait until the end of the game before you realize maybe I should start trying to, you know, get seals and stuff, then you can just remember your hunting log and you will get so many seals just from completing the first and second levels of those hunting logs. And then the rest is just butter from there on out. So turn in the, the pink gear that you don't need, do your hunting logs and Personally, I would not keep running fates because, you know, I just kind of think it, the payoff is not really worth it as far as seals go. But at least you can have fun running the fates. But yeah, this is the easiest and fastest way to earn seals. Too bad you can't keep doing it because if you could, you have more seals than you know what to do with. So that's my spiel on how to get your grand company seals. And in case you were wondering, I hope that it helped you. But if not, hey, thanks for watching anyway. Appreciate it. So until next time, I'm Jeremy and I will talk to you later. Go get those seals.